Hello and welcome into another edition of Cooling Down on the Birds Broadcast Network. I'm your host, Sammy Miller, alongside your broadcasters, Ian Nicholas and Dylan Pescator. The Firebirds were unable to get it done tonight against the YD Red Sox, losing 8-2. The pitching was a little rocky. The starting pitcher tonight was Vanderbilt's Sam Laboki. And we saw a lot of brand new faces. What would you see from the arms tonight? Well, it starts with the starter, Sam Laboki, and he had his great stuff in the first. And he went one, two, three, went two strikeouts. It looked like he was on par for a great outing, but the second inning, just like against Hyannis, was not his inning. Continued to struggle. He did eat a few innings, which was big for the Firebirds in terms of the games coming up on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before the off day. Thursday, a few new names out, out there. A name that I really liked was Nate Scott, the 5'10 righty out of Fordham. Came from D3 Ithaca. He has a big heart. He's going to really come out there and commute every single time. One run allowed for him in two innings. So a lot of new names. It's almost like an audition. We talked about it on the broadcast for these new names to prove to Kelly Nichol Nicholson in the, and the coaching staff who can pitch in big games in big moments. It'll definitely be interesting to see who really stands out from the pack. But a weakness tonight was their inability to capitalize with runners on. They left 11 stranded two different times. They had the bases loaded. Ian, what did you see from that part of the game? Yeah, not only did they have bases loaded twice tonight, Sammy, but both times they came away without a run, which those are opportunities that show you what this offense can do, but then they need the big hit. They need the big at bat. And over these last, I'd say, four games, dating back to the blowout against Hyannis and even the doubleheader that you split against Chatham, you now left the bases loaded and surrounded a few times too many. So overall, I mean, this offense had some life in it tonight, but I think the big thing that Dylan's been saying a lot on the broadcast and I'd have to agree with is when you leave the bases stranded and loaded, the next inning, it seems like the other team just fires back with a lot more energy because they understand that they got left off the hook. So not only do you leave yourself off the hook without a run, but the other team feels the urgency that you guys are building and building and you're close and then they snap back. So Orleans needs to finally punch in a run or two in those situations to get that early lead and to keep a good team like YD off the board. And for the offense tonight, it did seem like they were getting some good contact, but it almost was like they were hitting right to Whitey's players. What would you see from the offense as a whole tonight, Dylan? Well, I saw Whitey had really good defense tonight. They continue to shift their players. They clearly looked at the scouting reports and the spray charts. Orleans got a lot of runners on tonight. We talked about it, leaving a lot of runners on base. That was not the problem. They, didn't, they weren't getting dominated one, two, three. They just didn't get the big hit, and Ian says – It'll come, it will come as games go along. It's just about getting these experience in at bats where stressful situations are and then finally breaking through. They haven't been able to break through in the last four games. And YD is currently the number one team in the East. The Firebirds are going to YD tomorrow. So tomorrow is a huge game to try to get some more points for the Firebirds. How big is tomorrow? Oh, it's huge, especially if the one and two in the East Division comes down to the end of a wire at the end of the season. You now have to win your final two games against YD, both of them at Red Wilson Field, if you want that tiebreaker in the season series, which is now even at two games apiece. So I think tomorrow is huge. Playing at a place in YD, you've already have won before. You won in dramatic fashion in that foggy game in extra innings earlier on in the year. But overall, this is a really good YD team that's gotten some recent additions, that's got a Braden Montgomery, that's going to have Hunter Hines most likely in the lineup tomorrow. Hines wasn't in the lineup tonight, and you still lost. So be ready for a powerful hitter who's ready to break, break out of a bit of a slump tomorrow playing at his home field where he's been hitting a lot of home runs this season. The Firebirds look to flush out this loss tonight and get a win tomorrow at Red Wilson Field. We'll see you guys there.